Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that just because you fail today doesn't mean you can't succeed tomorrow. The truth of the matter is that on the path of evolving into your best self and striving to accomplish your goals comes along with it its share of failed attempts and efforts. Maybe it's something small like intending and failing to set your alarm an hour earlier or making a decision to get that workout in and then not feeling up to it. Having the discipline to commit to your goals in reality has its share of challenges, especially when we are tired or simply don't feel like doing it. Life isn't perfect and even the most disciplined people sometimes have their off days. But the reality is, just because things didn't go as planned or you failed at something today, doesn't mean that tomorrow will be the same results and that you won't have the opportunity to try again and succeed. The dawn of a new day gives us a fresh start to try again more efficiently and with more determination to get it right. The next time you find yourself not hitting your goals or discouraged that you didn't accomplish what you intended to, Remind yourself that tomorrow is a new day and that this time around you will give it 100% of your attention and efforts in seeing it through. As Mary Ann Radmacher quotes, Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is that little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. You know, you've been at the Oppenheim Group for over six years. Did you ever think that your real life would become a Netflix show <laughs> and your job yeah. <laughs> but you know back in the day we always used to laugh we're like just we need our own reality show because our friends and stuff i mean we are very unique i guess um and so we would joke around about it but then once people started coming and, and asking us to do a show um jason turned them down because it just wasn't the right kind of show mm -hmm. um and and then Adam came along and and we are now we're here. <laughs> Wardrobe provided by H and N. Next up on the show, we have Mary Fitzgerald from the hit TV show Selling Sunset on Netflix. Mary, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I am doing wonderful. I'm so happy to have you on the show. I love Selling Sunset. And you're one of my favorite people on the show. You're always so compassionate and nice, but at the same time, you're a boss, <laughs> which I love. You know, that's what people Thanks. aspire to be like. So I love it. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. So l let's talk a little bit about when you first got into real estate. How long have you been in the industry? Since 2008. Oh, wow. Yeah. Been, been a while. I took a couple years off. I went to London and New York and um, and I just, you know, I, I was doing some other stuff. But what in the, in London, it was real estate based, um, but it was I wasn't an agent though there. So, um, yeah, so I've been doing it for a long time now. <laughs> yeah. And when did you realize you love real estate and you wanted to kind of pursue this as a full time career? <laughs> when I was moving <laughs> every like year trying to I just be able to have my fix of looking <laughs> search and looking at new properties and finding like a great one and, and seeing different areas of LA because there's so many different areas. Mm -hmm. so, um, I found myself just moving all the time because I just wanted that process. And so finally I was like, what am I doing? I like, <laughs> my son and, and doing stuff just because I loved it so much. And yeah. And I decided just to get my license and earn money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a great career. I mean, what's not to like? You get to see beautiful houses and, you know, make money. So <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> you know, you've been at the Oppenheim Group for over six years. Did you ever think that your real life would become a Netflix show <laughs> and your job? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, back in the day, we always used to laugh for like, just, we need our own reality show because our friends and stuff, I mean, we are very unique, I guess. Um, and so we would joke around about it. But then once people started coming and, and asking us to do a show, um, Jason turned them down because it just wasn't the right kind of show. Mm -hmm. um, and and then Adam came along and, and we are 
now we're here. <laughs> yeah. How's that experience been for you? Because I always wondered about reality shows like filming. Is it is it nerve wracking? Are you aware of the cameras? Is it natural? Because I feel like when I watch Selling Sunset, it's so natural. You guys are just yourselves and you wouldn't even know that you're filming, you know? So how's the experience been? Sure. For season one, it was not natural at oh, okay. all. Um, <laughs> never been in front of a camera. And oh, so, wow. Really? Service. I don't know if anybody goes back and they watch season one. Um, especially, I think my first scene was when Romaine and I were at dinner. And, and of course, we get in an argument. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but, but uh, my hand was shaking. I was trying to pick up my drink. My hand's shaking. My oh, lip is burning. No. I just wasn't used to it. I didn't know what to expect. And, um, and but then it starts getting easier. I think after season one, we all started getting used to um, like the cameras being there, and they kind of stay out of our way. And then we started. Then we understood what the show was even going to be because on season one, we were just like, we don't even know what this is going to turn out to be. We yeah. filmed so much and. And we were all very nervous about what we're saying and doing, and we were on edge. And yeah. so, um, I think now what we've all loosened up, it's just part of our life. And so now it's much more natural, unfortunately, because sometimes yeah. we're. I mean, yeah, I guess you just get used to the cameras. <laughs> Have you been surprised by the success of the show? Because it's huge. I mean, everybody watches it, it's one of the top shows on Netflix. <laughs> it's so crazy still to, to hear that. Um, I am surprised by it, but it's Amanda and I were just talking the other day that I, I think at some point we have to um, just let it sink in. Yeah. Um, we're around our best friends of of you know many 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 years, and so it doesn't feel different to us besides cameras being there, and now we're used to that. So I think when uh, we just have oh, today we're posting, we did a cover of. Um, uh, Cosmo UK. Oh wow, congratulations. Uh, and, and Amanda and I are sitting in the car together and we're like, can you believe this? We're like, I mean, and, and our friends are saying stuff to us and we're like, oh yeah, I know. And they're like, are you not shocked? And we're like, yeah, we are, <laughs> but this hasn't set in because yeah. we're still doing the same thing with each other. So um, it's, a, it's a very, very cool, cool experience to be able to do it with our best friends. Yeah, absolutely. And I was going to say, you know, what I love about you is that you're always very compassionate and nice. Like you're one of the people on the show that is very compassionate to other people and the other women. So have you always been that empathetic person? And is it difficult working with so many women? Yeah. <laughs> great working with so many. Um, like they're such great girls. Um, most of them, I think, I think I've had... Um, a hard time on season four actually you guys will see me go through it um with christine it's not been easy for me because i do um i am compassionate i do try to give everybody second chances and see where people are coming from because i have not had an easy life um i haven't always made the right decisions and and so i always try to think about where people are coming from and that normally their behavior is a reflection of their um like how they're feeling mm -hmm. and not directly like if they're going off on me it's not normally me it's it's how they're feeling so I try to be compassionate and help fix that and so I think it's been difficult in season four for me to um realize that I'm not really getting through yeah. to to um well Christine yeah <laughs> I get it I mean working with, I went to an all-girls school so <laughs> I get it <laughs> <laughs> girls are amazing they're so yeah. cool so much fun they're so positive we have new cast members on the show and they're incredible too yeah um, so it's 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 great it's fun yeah and i think also when you're working with people in the same industry as you right there's always gonna be you're gonna bump heads with someone so i i totally understand that but i love that you're compassionate and you're nice and you're one of my favorite people on the show so i respect that about you it's it's, it's actually really nice <laughs> what's been one of the biggest milestones in your career so far and what has been one of the biggest challenges we like to share stories of success um, and obstacles to inspire our viewers so yeah i would like to know Ooh, um, milestones. Oh, let's see. Um, you know, I think just having my son at such a young age was very, very challenging. 
um, it didn't make it didn't make anything easy <laughs> at yeah. all. Um, but but I think just being able to overcome, like, still go to college, still um, be able to work, even though I mean it was it was very difficult, and 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 I wore myself into the ground trying to do it but i'm very proud of myself that i was able to do that and then i was able to go into real estate and and part of its luck part of it's um just getting to know certain people and being able like meeting jason um long time ago being involved mm -hmm. in that group and then this opportunity coming um to fruition is just like it's incredible but um but i think being a single mom made me work very hard from a very young age. I had no choice. Mm -hmm. um, and no was never, I wasn't able to take no for an answer because yeah. I had to do stuff. So I had to work. I had to um, figure it out. And so I think that's really helped me in real estate. Absolutely. And you're one of the most successful agents at the Oppenheim Group. Like, I feel that you're one of those people that always sells houses. And also, even on your wedding day, you sold a house that you got married in, which I was I was surprised because that's a very strong work ethic to do that. I don't think I'd be able to do that. I think I'd be freaking out about getting married and then on top of it, selling a house. <laughs> I don't know how you how do you manage it all? How do you balance your you know, your professional career, having your son, like everything. <laughs> it's busy. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I hear that and, and I was stressed out, um, planning the wedding, trying to film, deal with clients. I was very stressed out. And I think you guys, I kind of look like this every day on the show. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not doing my hair today. Um, <laughs> I just... I don't know, but then on my wedding day, I guess I was already there. So at yeah. the time, I was like, well, this is the only time he can see it. So of course, I'm going to show it to him. I mean, I'm here. Yeah. So it really set in until people were like, yeah, but most people, even Jason was like, no, this yeah. is a wedding, I'm not doing it. And to me, I was like, well, it's a potential sale. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a great attitude. You know, just if you have the opportunity, you take it. I think that's one of been one of the key to your success yeah. has been because yeah. And speaking of Jason, I feel that you're so well liked at the Oppenheim Group. Have you ever felt like the underdog or people maybe? Um, yeah, like the underdog, just because you're so well liked, but you're again, you're a very strong worker. You know. Um. Yeah. <laughs> And the underdog, not really. I mean, I think I, I just I focus on myself, so yeah. I don't I, I don't really compare myself too much to anybody else. Besides, except Jason, I have a friendly competition going where I'm always whatever <laughs> in his career. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna one up you. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> far, I'll never catch up to him because he also, as far as like money and stuff goes, I don't think anyway. I'm gonna try. But, um, but because he has all the agents where he gets, you know, a portion of our commission and everything too. So that's always hard to catch up to. But um, just as far as personal success, um, I started off, he did 20% growth. So I said, I'm going to do 40. Now I did 100% growth. So wow. yeah, this is a very good year for me. So yeah, absolutely. You're, you're doing incredible. And speaking about your personal life, you did get married on the show Selling Sunset on Netflix. So talk to us about that experience. Was it nerve wracking? Uh, it was, it was <laughs> um, I think the fighting between the girls is what really worried me. Yeah, absolutely. They, um, I did have a, I did have a, um, security guard that was there. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, uh, if anybody starts anything, then they're going to be politely taken, um, out to saying, hey, I'm sorry, whoever, um, someone needs you at the front. And then they would just, <laughs> it off or no one knows anything's going on they're like you need to leave the premise <laughs> <Because> oh wow <laughs> our family and our friends were there and they, and they didn't sign up for this we did so um like remains parents they, they just want to see their baby boy get married and, and my parents aren't aren't uh, used to like any sort of um conflict and drama and that is not what i wanted our day to be about we worked very hard to get it um to where it was we had a lot of obstacles with everything yeah. falling so I just didn't want the drama there. Um, unfortunately, there was drama, but I didn't know about it. So yeah. um, it was still the same. And Romaine's was the same. So it was our family. So I don't care now. Oh, it, it was an amazing wedding, honestly. It, it was so beautiful. Congratulations, by the way. You guys are an amazing, good-looking couple. 
<laughs> power couple. <laughs> just celebrated our two-year anniversary, so Aww, our wedding. Aw, so cute. Yeah. Well, congratulations. <laughs> If you can name three things that have made you successful, what would you say they are? Work ethic. Um, uh, just, I think, just in a, that internal drive. Um, and then I think the um, watching Jason, having a mentor like Jason, mm -hmm. watching him, listening to everything, being willing to, um, to I think, change um, and, and adapt to situations um, every clients different mm -hmm. and you have to I think truly listen to them and and see what they want and and how to approach them based on their personality and how they respond to stress and to situations and kind of read between the lines yeah absolutely I think work ethic is so important a lot of people you know if you just show up and you keep working you will be successful if you just keep at it over yeah. the long term. I think that's so underestimated that people think that, you know, they see the show, they see these beautiful women, they see like nice houses and they don't realize that all of you guys are so hard working. It's not easy to, you know, land yeah. a $75 million house or whatever it is, right? Even if it's a $500,000 house, it's it's hard work. Yeah. So yeah, I it, definitely. There's so much more that goes into it. And, and I do feel bad for some of the people that are like, oh my God, the show inspired me to get my real estate license and, and I was like, they're great, but uh, it's, it's not going to be yeah. exact <laughs> because there's so much more work. It's not like, oh, I found this client here, sign here. Yay. I got this commission. It Absolutely. does not work that way. There are grueling, grueling hours and all these inspections where you're climbing up on stuff and trying to see what the inspector's talking about, getting dirty and, yeah. and, um, and dealing with clients yelling at you and trying to figure out like, nightmare agents nightmare um sellers and and buyers and you're like okay well let's figure out what what's gonna make this work how do we come together and just put your ego aside and and figure it out yeah um, absolutely yeah. having a good real estate agent is so important i bought a place in january and I, me and uh, my real estate agent were together 24 7 looking at so many different properties and having you know someone that has your best interest i think is so important you know just really it's it's not easy it's not an easy job because you do have people who are very picky like me <laughs> who keep asking questions so yeah i, I can imagine it's it's definitely yeah. <laughs> challenging Honest um, agent is is essential too because there's so many um, agents that will just they'll focus on um, on the the immediate the small picture They're like oh they like this house let's get it done and even yeah. if it's not and and I think it's very important to find someone that will tell you the truth and be like listen I know you like it this may not be the best investment for you here's why there will be other properties and so you kind of have to put your commission like. Uh, desire aside and, yeah. and them they will respect that and trust you going forward because they know you do have your best interest at heart yeah absolutely and i think that's why you're such a successful real estate agent is because you you are trustworthy and you you can tell that you put your clients first you're not just like you know some some real estate agents are ruthless they don't care they just want that sale as you said and you can tell that you have your clients best interest so yeah that, that's an amazing thing when i go to la i'm going to call you <laughs> <laughs> and, and last but not least, you know, this show's all about inspiration and inspiring our viewers. You know, for someone going through a hard time or, you know, not seeing their dreams happen or just, just going through some challenges, you know, what, what advice would you give for them to, you know, persevere through and maybe go after their dreams? Um, you know, I think this, this industry is not easy. You're going after, like, again, so many, um, so many very, very reputable um, very competent agents with with a lot of clients already. There's so many agents out there. So I think when you do have a downtime, stick with it. Um, like study your market, study all the sold, um, all the sold properties, all the upcoming listings, um, newly listed. Um, just kind of really get to know your niche market. And so whenever things do pick back up, you will be like so knowledgeable and and all the buyers and and sellers that you work with will see that and they'll trust you even more um i think do open houses do um do as much as you can get out there even if you don't have stuff yourself it will come and just uh keep at it 
uh, there's ups and there's highs and lows for everybody, um, yeah. even us, in 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 this um, in this profession. And so you just have to have faith in yourself and keep keep pushing forward and, and keep trying. And it'll come, it'll come. But yeah, every has highs and lows. It's just a wave. So just save your money and make sure you're not like, oh, you get big commission. Don't spend it all because you don't. Know what <laughs> you have to save. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's great advice. I, I think perseverance, as we talked about, is, is key, right? If you stick yeah. at it, you will succeed. Mary, thank you so much for being on the show today. Like, it's been such a pleasure. I'm such a big fan of the show, and we hope to have you back soon. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.